Good morning. We're a week away from the legislative session, and uh, gentlemen, it is going to be an interesting, because it's a political year, an election year, of course. Well, let's start with what people are going to be seeing over the next week. Jason, set the stage for us about what problems are going to be talked about this coming legislative session. Yeah, well, we're just a, a week away right now from the state of the state. That'll happen a week from this coming Monday. You know, I think one of the things that uh, we should all be focused on here in the state of Oklahoma, uh, and we've heard it before, is workforce development. Um, we really need to make sure that we're focused on training, uh, you know, the nurses of the future, the engineers of the future, uh, both aerospace and software engineers. Uh, and teachers of the future. I mean, if we really focus on workforce development, we focus on those four areas, teachers, nurses, uh, and engineers here in the state of Oklahoma, and we're putting the right resources in there, um, we're going to put our state in the best position uh, for the next decade, for the next two decades. Mr. Leader, what do you see are the biggest problems facing the state of Oklahoma right now? Well, one area where my, my friend and I agree is workforce development. One of the things we are going to have to do this year with a higher than usual uh, budget and with the ARPA money is be innovative. Now, that's going to require the legislature and the State Board of Regents for Higher Education working together, in addition to the, the career techs inside Oklahoma, working together to find ways to crank out the workforce that we need. I've talked about on this show for forever, and we'll continue to talk about it. We also have to be smart. The other thing we talk about a lot on this show is inflation. What is happening nationally with inflation? We've got to be smart in how we spend our money in Oklahoma. We don't know what the economy holds. So I think you'll see us key, key invest in those educational areas, but still look at the state savings so we don't go, so bad times don't come again. It took him all of one minute to get back into inflation. So, all right, so there's some of the, some of the problems people are talking about. What are the fixes we'll be hearing about? Here's what I hope you'll be hearing about. I hope you'll be hearing about new innovative ways to fund degrees inside higher education and career tech. A renewed focus on engineering, nursing, the, the new technology areas that we need inside our workforce. I hope you'll see a renewed focus on common education. How do we support our teachers, fund our teachers, but demand excellence inside the classroom? And on, on the economic side, I think you'll see us move forward with smart reforms but make it easier on businesses to continue to do business. And part of the reason I bring up inflation almost every other week is because it's on the minds of every Oklahoman every time they go somewhere. That's why we got to make sure we make smart economic decisions this session. It's a real deal. Jason, your thoughts about the, the fixes to some of these problems we'll be hearing about. Yeah, I think with the fixes, it's, uh, it's quite simple. We just have to put our money where our mouth is. And, you know, we've talked about workforce development. We've talked about the ways that we can move our state forward. But the fact of the matter is, is those things cost money. And the good thing is, the good news for Oklahomans is we're in a really, really good budget position right now, both from a state standpoint and then with the federal ARP money that we have to spend. What we need to do is be uh, very uh, specific in how we spend that. We need to resist the urge to go and blanketly cut taxes and give everybody their $4 or $5 back. And we need to make sure that we're surgical in the way that we're spending that money, that we're investing that money into workforce development, into the things that will actually make our state uh, better over the next decade. Coming up, gonna be a lot of hot air in the next week before the legislative session. What to watch and what to ignore. We're back talking about the upcoming legislative session. We'll start with Mr. Leader. I bet citizens are going to see a lot of press releases and a lot of, lot of media coming out of the, the lead up to the session. So to help citizens at home and watching and listening, what should we be looking at? What should we focus on and what should we ignore? Let's start with what should we focus on? Here's what you should focus on. You should focus on what your individual member is doing. The more citizen engagement, whether it's a House or Senator, the better. You should also be focusing on one, one area I disagree with a little bit, my colleague, though, is I do think there could be some strategic tax cuts next year. And I think having average everyday Oklahomans take more money their paycheck is a good thing, uh, not a bad thing. I also think focus on issues that move this state forward. I, I assigned around 3,000 bills between the two sessions to various committees. Most of them don't come out of committee. Start paying attention to things that are, that are put up in committee, that are serious reforms that move Oklahoma forward. And I think, I think again, I think it's going to be a great session. Yeah, we've got to discern about what, well, there's a lot of information and not much is going to be uh, explained every little last detail. Jason, your thoughts about what citizens should focus on as we move into this legislative session? 
Well, Scott, you're not wrong. I think if you watch the news at all, um, you know, this week, last week, what you see is just all of uh, the wild stuff that's out there. And then everyone gets frustrated uh, with the legislature. What I want to say is there's some really incredible people that sacrificed their personal time and time from their family to be up at 23rd and Lincoln and do the, the business of the state. And, and I really think that, that those people will focus on the right things. But the, the things that, that we need to really look at, education and health care, those are the things that if we get those correct, it's a home run for the state of Oklahoma. We need to focus on getting our citizens more healthy. We can do that with good health care policy. We need to make sure that our students have a world-class education, uh, have an opportunity to compete, not just against kids from states around us, but against kids uh, around the world. If we can really focus in on those two things, we'll hit a home run this session. All right, the okay. other side of the coin, let's talk about what the nonsense that just take up people's time. Nothing's going to go where this is not going to happen. Tell us what we should ignore. Well, I wish I had specific bill numbers for you right now, and I don't. But what I can tell you at home is focus on things that build people up and not tear people down. There are a lot of bills that are out there that they're in, their purpose of them is just to tear people down. And we just need to be better than that. There are plenty enough pieces of policy out there that help us build people up, make sure that everyone has an equal playing field. We need to focus on those things. You're going to hear a lot of bills about vaccines uh, this session. And the thing that I want to remind viewers at home on this is vaccines are important. So is personal liberty and freedom, and we need to, to toe that line. But if you haven't yet got your vaccine, it will save your life. It's just something to think about this morning. Mr. Leader, what should people take with a grain of salt, so to speak? Well, I think press release bills you take with a grain of salt. Wait till those start moving through the process. Now, now I do think on the vaccine issue, though, there will be some bills that are moved. I'm vaccinated. I think you should get your vaccine. I don't think the federal government has any business telling you that you have to get a vaccine. And I'm against those mandates. And I think we'll look at some of those issues. But I, I think one of the things, whether it's outside entities, you know, I think generally the media does a good job. But there, there's definitely some spin to the extreme sometimes. When sometimes it's not legislators, it's outside entities that are trying to get people fired up. Just be careful of people that have a vested interest in making you watch something extreme or making you give them money for something extreme. Look at the real serious work that's being done by the legislature that's done all, all the time, every day. And I think, again, we're going to have a session that does focus on health care and education. Now, it's also going to focus on pushing back on Washington, D.C., and that's what Oklahomans want us to do, and that's what we're going to do but I think it's going to be a successful session for Oklahomans this year. Get your popcorn. See this again at news9.com slash your vote council. Follow me on Twitter at Mitchell Talks.